silvery gibbon Alvin hasn't been alone with life partner Tilu since the arrival of their son 20 months ago. And he appears to be losing patience with hyperactive eco. They just play fighting. They'll go through the motions of, like, a fight. Really quite aggressive, but they won't actually cause each other any damage. Alvin quite enjoys that with Eco, really. It's teaching Eco how to fight when he's older. Mum, Tilu, also has a crucial skill to pass on. Eco is getting singing lessons. Singing for gibbons is incredibly important from a territorial point of view. It's basically how they announce to the world that this is where they live and this is our patch. So learning that song is a really important thing for Eco. Armed with life skills learned from his parents, Eco is straying further from Mum, which is good news for Dad. Oh, then. Tilu, Eco, come on. After 20 months of faithful waiting, Alvin may be back in Tilu's affections. Nice, How are you doing? We have noticed them spending a bit more time in close proximity to each other. Hi, Alvin. Now she's coming back into season. Alvin's on the picture again. A place at the dinner table is a promising sign. Tilu's probably ready to mate, so hopefully there'll be another little addition to the Gibbon family. Now everything hinges on Eco, giving Mum and Dad more than five minutes' peace. There's a hope that male Gibbon Alvin will have more luck at kindling a spark with partner Tilu. Alvin's back on the scene. There's definitely the start of a relationship building up again. Life lessons for son Eco are finally paying off. He doesn't need mum and dad around now. He's big enough and strong enough to look after himself. As Eco's grown in confidence and he's quite happy exploring things, mum and dad, then that has a knock-on effect. So they're comfortable enough to kind of leave Eco playing around on the inside while they go off to do something else. But Eco is never away for long. So keepers decide to offer nature a helping hand and distract him with some food. The kind of behaviour that we look for is more grooming, which is just bonding their relationship and making that stronger. Then you'll physically present to Alvin. which means showing her rear end, if you like, towards Alvin. It's her way of flirting with him. She's showing him that she likes him around and she wants him a bit closer. I think he's happy with that. Usually the interval between birth is two to three years, so we are in that window where Tilu may well now be ready, and that would ring true with the behaviour that we're seeing. Back in favour, Alvin seems to have rediscovered his mojo. But Dad should enjoy himself while he can. In seven months, it could be back to square one for Alvin. This species, generally, they'll, they'll live with up to kind of four offspring in a family unit. So hopefully, we might have a little baby brother or sister for Eco.